The Gospel According to Thomas These are the hidden sayings that the living Jesus spoke, and Didymus Judas Thomas wrote down. And he said, Whoever finds the interpretation of these sayings will not taste death. Jesus said, The one who seeks should not cease seeking until he finds. And when he finds, he will be disturbed. And when he is disturbed, he will marvel, and he will rule over the all. Jesus said, If your leaders say to you, Look, the kingdom is in the sky, then the birds of the sky will precede you. If they say to you, It is in the sea, then the fish will precede you. But the kingdom is within you, and it is outside of you. When you come to know yourselves, then you'll be known, and you'll understand that you are the children of the living Father. But if you will not know yourselves, then you are in poverty, and it is you who are the poverty. Jesus said, A person advanced in days will not hesitate to ask a little child of seven days about the place of life, and that person will live. For many who are first will be last, and so become a single one. Jesus said, Know what is before your face, and what is hidden from you will be disclosed to you, for there is nothing hidden that will not be revealed. His disciples questioned him and said to him, Do you want us to fast? And how should we pray? Should we give alms? And what kind of diet should we observe? And Jesus said, Do not tell lies, and do not do what you hate, for they are all disclosed before heaven. For there is nothing hidden that will not be revealed, and nothing that is covered will remain undisclosed. Jesus said, Blessed is the lion that the human will eat, so that the lion becomes human. And cursed is the human whom the lion will eat, and the lion will become human. And he said, The human being is like a wise fisherman, who cast his net into the sea and dragged it up from the sea, full of little fish. Among them the wise fisherman found a fine large fish. He cast all the small fish back into the sea and chose a large fish without any effort. The one who has ears to listen had better listen. Jesus said, Look, the sower came forth, took a handful and cast. Now some fell on the path, and the birds came and gathered them up. Others fell on the rock, and they did not take root down into the ground and send up ears. And others fell on thorns, and they choked the seeds, and the worm devoured them. And others fell on the good ground, and it sent up good fruit, and yielded sixty per measure and a hundred twenty per measure. Jesus said, I have cast a fire upon the world, and look, I am guarding it until it blazes. Jesus says, This heaven will pass away, and the one above it will pass away, and the dead are not alive, and the living will not die. In the days you ate what is dead, you made it alive. But when you come to be in light, what will you do? On the day when you were one, you became two. But when you became two, what will you do? The disciples said to Jesus, We know that you will leave us. Who will be great among us? Jesus said to them, Wherever you have come, you will go to James the righteous, for whose sake heaven and earth came to be. Jesus said to his disciples, Make a comparison and tell me who I am like. Simon Peter said to him, You are like a righteous angel. Matthew said to him, You are like a wise philosopher. Thomas said to him, Teacher, my mouth cannot let me say at all what you are like. Jesus said, I am not your teacher, for you have drunk and become intoxicated from the bubbling spring that I myself have measured out. And he took him, withdrew, and said three things to him. 
Now when Thomas came to his companions, they asked him, What did Jesus say to you? Thomas said to them, If I tell you one of the sayings he said to me, he will take up stones and cast them at me, and fire will come out of the stones and burn you. Jesus said to them, If you fast, you will bring sin upon yourselves, and if you pray, you will be condemned. And if you give alms, and if you give alms, you will do damage to your spirits. And when you go into any land and walk in the countryside, if they receive you, eat whatever they place before you, and heal the sick among them. For whatever goes into your mouth will not defile you, rather it is what comes out of your mouth that will defile you. And Jesus said, When you see one who is not born from woman, fall upon your faces and worship him, that one is your father. Jesus said, Perhaps people think that I have come to cast peace on the world, and they do not know that I have come to cast a vision on the earth. Fire, sword, war. For there will be five in a house. Three will be against two, and two against three. The father against the son, and the son against the father. And they will stand as solitary ones. Jesus said, I will give you what eyes have not seen, and what ears have not heard, and what hands have not touched, and what has not arisen in the human heart. The disciples said to Jesus, Tell us how our end will come about. Jesus said, Have you uncovered the beginning, then that you are now seeking the end? For where the beginning is the end will come to be. Blessed is the one who stands at the beginning. That one will know the end and will not taste death. Jesus said, Blessed is the one who existed before coming to exist. If you exist as my disciple and listen to my sayings, those stones will serve you. For you have five trees in paradise that do not move in summer or winter, and whose leaves do not fall. Whoever knows them will not taste death. The disciple said to Jesus, Tell us, what is the kingdom of heaven like? He said to them, It is like a mustard seed. It is smallest of all seeds. But when it falls on tilled ground, it puts forth a great branch and becomes a shelter for the birds of the sky. Mary said to Jesus, Whom are your disciples like? He said, They are like children, dwelling in a field that is not theirs. When the owners of the field come, they will say, Surrender our field to us. They, for their part, strip in their presence in order to surrender it to them, and so give their field to them. For this reason I say, when the homeowner knows that the burglar is coming, he will keep watch before he comes, and will not let him dig through into his house, which belongs to his kingdom, to steal his possessions. You then keep watch against the world, gird your loins with great power, so that brigands may not find a way to come to you, for they will find the gain for which you are waiting. Let there be among you a person of understanding. When the crop is ripened, he came hastily with a sickle in his hand and reaped it. The one who has ears to listen had better listen. Jesus saw some infants being nursed. He said to his disciples, These infants being nursed are like those entering the kingdom. They said to them, Shall we then enter the kingdom by being infants? Jesus said to them, When you make the two one, and make the inside like the outside, and the outside like the inside, and the upper like the lower, and you make the male and the female be a single one, with the male no longer being male, and the female no longer female. When you make eyes in the place of an eye, and a hand in the place of a hand, and a foot in the place of a foot, an image in the place of an image. Then you will enter the kingdom. Jesus said, I will choose you, one out of a thousand and two out of ten thousand, and they will stand as a single one. His disciples said, Show us the place where you are, since we must seek it. He said to them, 
The one who has ears had better listen. There is light inside a person of light, and it shines on the whole world. If it does not shine, it is dark. Jesus said, Love your brother like your soul. Guard him like the pupil of your eye. And Jesus said, You see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but you do not see the log that is in your eye. When you take the log out of your eye, then you will see well enough to take the speck out of your brother's eye. If you do not fast from the world, you will not find the kingdom. If you do not make the Sabbath a Sabbath, you will not see the Father. Jesus said, I stood in the midst of the world and appeared to them in flesh. I found them all drunk, and I did not find any of them thirsty. And my soul was anguished for the children of humankind, for they are blind in their hearts and do not see. For they came into the world empty, and empty again they seek to depart from the world. Yet now they are drunk. When they shake off their wine, then they will repent. Jesus said, If the flesh came into being because of the Spirit, it is a marvel. But if the Spirit came into existence because of the body, it is a marvel of marvels. Yet I marvel at this, how this great wealth has come to dwell in this poverty. Jesus said, Where there are three gods, they are divine. Where there are two or one, I am with that one. Jesus said, A prophet is not welcome in his village. A physician does not heal those who know him. And Jesus said, A city built upon a high mountain and fortified cannot fall, nor can it become hidden. Jesus said, Whatever you hear with your ear, proclaim it into the other ear upon your rooftops. For no one lights a lamp and places it under a bushel or sets it in a hidden place. But he puts it on the lampstand so that everyone who enters and leaves might see its light. Jesus said, if a blind person leads a blind person, they both fall into a pit. And Jesus said, No one can enter the house of the strong and take it by force unless he binds his hands. Then he will plunder his house. Jesus said, Do not be concerned from morning to evening and from evening to morning about what you will wear. His disciples said, When will you appear to us and when shall we see you? Jesus said, When you strip naked without being ashamed, and take your clothes and place them under your feet like little children, and stamp on them, then you will see the Son of the Living One, and you will not be afraid. Jesus said, Many times you have desired to hear these sayings that I am speaking to you, and you have no one else to hear them from. Days will come when you will seek me, and you will not find me. Jesus said, The Pharisees and the scribes have taken the keys of knowledge and hidden them. They have neither entered nor let those wishing to enter do so. But you should be wise as snakes and innocent as doves. Jesus said, A grapevine has been planted outside of the Father, and since it is not strong, it will be pulled up by its roots and perish. Jesus said, The one who has something in his hand will be given more and the one who has nothing will have even the little that he has taken from him. Jesus said, Become passers-by. His disciples said to him, Who are you to say these things to us? You do not understand who I am from what I say to you. Rather, you have become like the Jews, for they love the tree but hate its fruit, and they love the fruit but hate the tree. Jesus said, Whoever blasphemes against the Father will be forgiven, and whoever blasphemes against the Son will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either on earth or in heaven. Jesus said, Grapes are not harvested from thorn bushes, nor are figs collected from thistles, for they do not yield fruit. A good person brings something good from his storehouse. A bad person brings vile things from his evil storehouse inside his heart and speaks vile things. 
for from the abundance of the heart he brings forth vile things. Jesus said, From Adam to John the Baptist, Among those born of women there is no one greater than John the Baptist, lest he should avert his eyes. Yet I have said that whoever among you becomes a young child will know the kingdom, and he will become greater than John. Jesus said, No person can mount two horses and string two bows, and no servant can serve two masters, or he will honor the one and insult the other. No person drinks aged wine and immediately desires to drink new wine, and new wine is not put into old skins, or they might burst. An aged wine is not put into new skins, or it might go bad. An old patch is not sewn on new garment, for there would be a tear. Jesus said, If two make peace with one another in a single house, they will say to the mountains, Move from here, and it will move. Jesus said, Blessed are the solitary ones and the elect, for you will find the kingdom. For you have come from it, and you will return there. And Jesus said, If they say to you, Where have you come from? Tell them we have come from the light, from the place where the light came to be on its own, established itself, and was revealed in their image. If they say to you, Is it you? Say, We are its children, and we are the chosen of the living Father. If they ask you, What is the sign of your Father in you? Say to them, It is movement and repose. His disciples said to him, When will the repose of the dead take place? And when will the new world come? He said to them, What you are looking for has come, but for your part you do not know it. His disciples said to him, Twenty-four prophets spoke in Israel, and they all spoke about you. He said to them, You have abandoned the one who lives in your presence, and have spoken of the dead. His disciples said to him, Is circumcision beneficial or not? He said to them, If it were beneficial, their father would beget them already circumcised from their mother. But true circumcision in the spirit has become entirely profitable. Jesus said, Blessed are the poor, for the kingdom of heaven is yours. Jesus said, Whoever does not hate his father and his mother cannot be a disciple of mine, and whoever does not hate his brother and his sister, and take up his cross the way I do, that person will not be worthy of me. Jesus said, The one who has come to know the world has found a corpse, and the one who has found the corpse, the world is not worthy of that person. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a person having some good seed. His enemy came at night and sowed weeds among the good seed. The person did not allow them to pluck the weeds. He said to them, Otherwise you might go to pluck the weeds and pluck the wheat with it. For on the harvest day the weeds will be plainly visible. They will be plucked and burned. Jesus said, Blessed is the person who has suffered and found life. Jesus said, Look to the living one while you are living, or you might die and then seek to see him, and you will not be able to see. They saw a Samaritan carrying a lamb on his way to Judea. He said to his disciples, That one is going around with the lamb. They said to him, It is so he can kill it and eat it. He said to them, While it is living he will not eat it, but only if he kills it and it becomes a corpse. They said, He cannot do it otherwise. He said to them, You too seek for yourselves to place a repose, lest you become a corpse and be eaten. Jesus said, Two will be resting on a couch. One will die, one will live. Salome said, Who are you, O man? As if you are from someone, you have climbed unto my couch and eaten from my table. Jesus said to her, I am the one who comes from what is whole. I was given some of the things of my Father. I am your disciple. For this reason I say that the one who is whole will be full of light, but the one who is divided will be filled with darkness. Jesus said, 
I am speaking my mysteries to those who are worthy of the mysteries. Do not let your left hand understand what your right hand is doing. Jesus said, There was a rich person who had many possessions. He said, I will use my possessions. I will sow, harvest, plant, and fill my storehouse with crops, so that I no longer need anything. These things he was thinking in his heart, but the very night he died. The one who has ears had better listen. Jesus said, A person had some visitors, and when he prepared a dinner, he sent his servant to invite the visitors. He went to the first and said to him, My master invites you. He replied, Some merchants owe me money. They are coming to me this evening, and I must go to give them instruction. I ask to be excused from the dinner. He went to another and said to them, My master has invited you. He said to him, I have bought a house and need to be there for a day. I will not be free. He went to another and said to him, My master invites you. He said to him, My friend is getting married, and it is I who am to prepare the banquet. I cannot come. I ask to be excused from the dinner. He went to another and said to him, My master invites you. He said to him, I have bought an estate, and I am going to collect the rent. I cannot come. I ask to be excused. The servant came and said to his master, The people you invited to the dinner have asked to be excused. The master said to his servant, Go out to the streets. Whomever you find, bring them in to have dinner. Buyers and traders will not enter the place of my father. He said a good man owned a vineyard, and he leased it to a tenant farmer, so that they might work it and he might receive its product from them. He sent his servant so the farmer might give him the produce of the vineyard. They seized the servant and beat him. They almost killed him. The servant went and told his master. The master said, Perhaps you did not know them. He sent another servant, and the farmers beat this one as well. Then the master sent his son and said, Perhaps they will show respect to my son. Since those farmers knew that he was the heir of the vineyard, they grabbed him and killed him. The one who has ears had better listen. Jesus said, Show me the stone that the builders have rejected, that is, the cornerstone. Jesus said, The one who knows the all but is lacking in himself lacks everything. And Jesus said, Blessed are you whenever they hate you and persecute you, and wherever they have persecuted, they will not find you there. And Jesus said, Blessed are those who have been persecuted in their hearts, it is they who have come to know the Father in truth. Blessed are those who are hungry, so that the stomach of the needy may be satisfied. Jesus said, If you bring forth what is within you, what you have will save you. If you do not have that within you, what you do not have within you will kill you. Jesus said, I will destroy this house, and no one will be able to build it. A person said to him, Tell my brother to divide my father's possessions with me. He said to him, O man, who has made me a divider? He turned to his disciples and said to them, I am not a divider, am I? Jesus said, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers few. So pray to the Lord that he might send workers out to the harvest. He said, Lord, there are many around the drinking trough, but there is nothing in the cistern. And Jesus said, Many are standing at the door, but it is the solitary ones who will enter the bridal chamber. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a merchant who owned merchandise, and then found a pearl. That merchant was wise. He sold the merchandise and bought for himself the single pearl. You, too, seek his unfailing and enduring treasure, which no moth comes in to devour and no worm destroys. Jesus said, it is I who am the light upon them all. It is I who am the all. It is from me that the all has come, and to me the all has extended. Split a piece of wood, I am there. Lift up the stone, and you will find me there. And Jesus said, Why did you come out into the country? To see a reed moved by a wind? and to see a person dressed in soft clothes like your kings and your dignitaries who are dressed in soft clothes and are unable to know the truth. 
A woman in the crowd said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nourished you. He said to her, Blessed are those who have heard the word of the Father and guarded in truth. For days are coming when you will say, Blessed is the womb that is not conceived and the breasts that have not given milk. Jesus said, The one who has come to know the world has found the body, and the one who has found the body, the world is not worthy of him. Jesus said, The one who has become rich, let him reign, and the one who has power, let him renounce it. Jesus said, The one who is near me is near the fire, and the one who is far from me is far from the kingdom. Jesus said, The images are visible to humans, and the light that is within them is hidden in the image of the light of the Father. It will be disclosed, and his image is hidden by his light. Jesus said, When you see your likeness, you rejoice. But when you see your images that came into being before you, and that neither die nor become revealed, how much you will bear. Jesus said, Adam came into being from a great power and a great wealth, and he did not become worthy of you. For had he been worthy, he would not have tasted death. Jesus said, The foxes have their dens and the birds have their nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head and rest. Jesus said, Wretched is the body that depends on a body, and wretched is the soul that depends on these two. And Jesus said, The angels and the prophets are coming to you, and they will give you what you have. And you too give them what is yours, and say to yourself, When will they come and take what is theirs? And Jesus said, Why do you wash the outside of the cup? Do you not realize that the one who made the inside is also the one who made the outside? Jesus said, Come to me. For my yoke is easy, and my lordship is kind, and you will find repose for yourselves. They said to him, Tell us who you are, so that we may believe in you. He said to them, You evaluate the appearance of the sky and of the earth, yet you have not come to know the one who is before you, and you do not know how to evaluate this moment. Jesus said, Seek, and you will find. Yet the things you asked me about in the past, I did not tell you then. Now I am willing to tell you, and you no longer seek after them. Do not give holy things to dogs, or they might throw them on the dung heap. Do not throw pearls to swine, or else they might make it. Jesus said, The one who seeks will find. The one who knocks will have it opened. Jesus said, If you have money, do not lend it at interest, but give it to the one from whom you will not get it back. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a woman who took a small amount of yeast, hid it in dough, and made it into a large loaves of bread. The one who has ears had better listen. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a woman who was carrying a jar full of meal. While she was walking a great distance on the road, the handle of the jar broke off, and the meal poured out behind her on the road. She was not aware of it. She had not noticed any trouble. When she reached her house, she set the jar down and found that it was empty. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a person who wanted to kill a dignitary. At home, he pulled the sword out and stuck it into the wall to find out if his hand would be firm. Then he murdered the dignitary. The disciples said to him, Your brothers and your mother are standing outside. He said to them, Those here who do the will of my father, they are my brothers and my mother. It is they who will enter the kingdom of my father. They showed Jesus the gold coin and said to him, Caesar's people are demanding taxes from us. He said to them, Give what is Caesar to Caesar, and give what is God's to God, and what is mine, give it to me. Whoever does not hate his father and his mother the way I do cannot be a disciple of mine. And whoever does not love his father and his mother the way I do cannot be a disciple of mine. For my mother did, but my true mother gave me life. Jesus said, Woe to the Pharisees, 
for they are like a dog sleeping in a cattle's feeding trough, for it neither eats nor lets the cattle eat. Jesus said, Blessed is the person who knows at what point the robbers are entering, so they may rise up, muster his estate, and arm himself before they enter. They said to Jesus, Come, let us pray today, and let us fast. Jesus said, What is the sin that I have committed, or how have I been overcome? Rather, when the bridegroom comes out of the bridal chamber, then people should fast and pray. Jesus said, Whoever knows the father and the mother will be called the child of a prostitute. Jesus said, When you make the two one, you will become children of humanity. And when you say, Mountain, move away, it will move. Jesus said, The kingdom is like a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. One of them, the largest, wandered away. He left the ninety-nine and looked for the one until he found it. After all his labor, he said to the sheep, I love you more than the ninety-nine. Jesus said, Whoever drinks from my mouth will become like me. I myself will become that person, and the hidden things will be revealed to that person. Jesus said, The kingdom is like a person who had a hidden treasure in his field without knowing it, and upon dying he left it to his son. The son did not know about it. He took over the field and sold it, and the one who bought it came plowing and found the treasure. He began to lend out money at interest to whomever he wished. Jesus said, Whoever finds the world and becomes rich, let him renounce the world. Jesus said, The heavens and the earth will roll up before you, and the one who is living from the living one will not see death. Does not Jesus say, Whoever has found oneself, the world is not worthy of that person? Jesus said, Woe to the flesh that depends on the soul. Woe to the soul that depends on the flesh. His disciples said to him, When will the kingdom come? It will not come by waiting for it. It will not be said, Look, here it is, or look, it is there. Rather, the kingdom of the Father is spread out upon the earth, and people do not see it. Simon Peter said to them, Mary should leave us, for females are not worthy of the life. Jesus said, Look, I am going to guide her in order to make her male, so that she too may become a living spirit resembling you males. For every female who makes herself male will enter the kingdom of heaven. So ends the Gospel according to Thomas.